Good evening, everyone. Three teachers and two community groups collected cash, $1,000 apiece, in Annapolis this week for their part in pushing ahead financial education in Maryland. In the Financial Education and Capability Awards, we recognize excellence in financial education. So we recognize three teachers in elementary school, middle, and high school. We recognize a community champion who's out there working with adults, doing a great job as a volunteer. And we also recognize an outstanding organization. Robin McKinney's nonprofit, Cash campaign spearheads these financial education awards for the fifth year running. We do free tax prep financial education financial coaching for about 27,000 people across the state of Maryland. So. so with lawmakers sprinkled through the crowd, the group, sponsors and supporters, one main financial, the Woodside Foundation, the State Department of Education and the Maryland Council on Economic Education honored the winners. Tracy Gay's students at North Hartford Elementary recycled old farm fence boards as part of their learning. Instead of just reading about it, I wanted our children to be able to do something for it. So we created um, holiday decorations that they chose to sell at a PTA function on a Saturday. They took the money and we used it to buy pajamas for needy children. Emily Shanks middle schoolers used a program called EverFi and financial board games to learn about spending plans and going to college. And had the aha moment of, oh my gosh, if you go straight into working, you don't make hardly any money. But if you go to college, you're going to make a lot more money. Congratulations. Please. And a graduate, former student of high school teacher Tim Rodman, gave him a phone call one day. And then he said, I'm getting on a plane to go to the West Coast, and I want you to know that the business plan I developed as a final project in your class was the template we used for this uh, project that uh, we are pitching an angel investor out in Silicon Valley. Uh, they got six-figure funding. Abdel Pietro Martel represents CASA, a group that helps Latinos in this country. You know, opening up bank accounts, doing taxes, learning about how to maneuver credit. And Karen Gibbs won as community champion. So that by the time students graduate from high school, they are able to make smart financial decisions. Making dollars makes sense. From Annapolis, this is MSDE-TV.